one of the questions I get asked all the time in my community is this, Eddie, I've been eating the way you suggest. I eat two meals a day, high fat, you know, high protein. You know, I feel good. I've got so much energy. My blood pressure is down. I literally, literally not type two diabetic anymore. I'm losing body fat. I got more energy than I've ever felt. I feel really good. But the doctor says my cholesterol level is slightly high. My LDL is a bit high. So they want to put me on statins. Now that happened to a member of my team. The doctor calls her and says, you know, I think um, I suggest you go on statins. And she challenged the doctor and says, well, why? And then the doctor just backtracked and said, actually, we, we've done your Q-risk um, three um, um, tests and uh, it turns out you're about 1.1%. You have a 1.1% chance of getting um, heart um, um, problems in, um, in the next 10 years. But still, I wanted to go on statin. So she challenged the doctor and the doctor said, OK, OK, maybe don't go on the statins. We just wait until a year and we test you. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is this. There's so many people in my community who get the same problems. They are doing everything else. Every, all their markets are down. You know, like I said, blood pressure is down. They're feeling amazing. They, like, the joint pains disappeared. The brain fogs disappeared. You know, all of that. And then still, doctor says, oh, well, because your, um, your cholesterol level is slightly high, we want to put you on statins. Now, I personally would not be put on statins. If the doctor told me to start, um, go on statins, I'd t tell him where to go. But here's the thing. Cholesterol is a really precious substance to your body. If you think about it, your liver makes cholesterol. The more you eat, the less it makes. And the less you eat, the more it makes. That means cholesterol is important. Your hormones need cholesterol. Your brain needs cholesterol. In fact, cholesterol is needed for healing. You know, whenever you know you hurt yourself, cholesterol is needed. So cholesterol is a precious substance to your body. So why would you, you know, decide that somebody's got high cholesterol and every other thing about them is good. It's uh, functioning normally. You know, arteries are fine. Everything about them is fine. The blood pressure is fine. But the cholesterol level is high. Now, personally, I believe in the conspiracy that the cholesterol, they, they put this cholesterol thing out just to sell drugs, statins. Almost everybody I know my age is on statins. When you say to them, dude, you don't need to be on statins. They tell you, oh, I do, you're not a doctor. And I say, well, of course I'm not a doctor, but I'm telling you to use common sense. If cholesterol was that bad for you, how come your um, liver makes that amount of cholesterol? It means it's precious to your body. Now, I changed my diet. In fact, this lady, she's fit. She eats the way I eat. Her diet's carnivore. You know, she's buzzing. You can see she's a personal trainer. You know, blood pressure, everything else is fine, apart from... You know, the cholesterol doctor says, you've got to go on statins. Now, I'm not asking you not to listen to your doctor. But right now, there's so much information out there about the lies that I've been told about cholesterol. You know, they are, they, I think, I personally think that's the biggest, one of the biggest, um, um, whatever, sins that man has ever, um, you know, created. Because you think about it, it's the pharmaceutical companies who are making the money. Statins are the most profitable you know, it's the most tr profitable drug ever. They make so much money. Almost every single person, every time you go to the doctor, he says, oh, you know, Eddie, you're 60 something, you should be on statins. And I just laugh. I'm like, yeah, right, I'd rather die. And I wouldn't, I'd rather die than take the statins because it's a playbook. When I was a nurse, when I was on the wards, everybody over 50 was on statins. And it's, it became normal. And remember, those statins have side effects. In fact, right now, we're hearing that they actually even cause dementia. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Don't quote me, but I'm saying that it's not a good drug, you know. It's not because it is because it's been normalized. Remember, every drug has side effects. And if you're eating lots of eggs, if you're eating lots of fatty meat, please don't stop eating them. What gives you problems? What causes illnesses? Are the ultra processed foods, the high carbohydrate foods? and eating so many meals a day, snacking in between crisps and all the nonsense. That's what is causing, you know, health problems in the world we live in now. Not the meat and the food that our ancestors have eaten for years. You know, like, um, you remember your grandmothers who cook with butter, who cook with ghee, who cook with, um, you know, beef dripping, and all of a sudden we told, no, stop, 
that's not good for us because it contains cholesterol. It's high in cholesterol, high in saturated fat. Don't eat the beef. Eat fillet steak. When I was bodybuilding, I used to eat lots of fillet steak. Now I wouldn't even look at fillet steak. I got rid of it. So we've been told, no, it's all right. Let's just stop eating the foods that our ancestors have eaten for years and start eating this ultra processed nonsense like vegetable oils, you know, seed oils, all that, you know, stuff that people um, eat. They're not food. In fact, some of them were made just to lubricate engines and unfortunately they've turned them into food and we're eating them and they're causing inflammation, they're causing illnesses, they're causing um, um, arteries to clog up. But when you go to the doctor, doctor will say, oh no, actually, if you eat too much red meat, your arteries will clog up. If that was the case, I would not have any arteries left because I eat so much red meat. I eat red meat every single day. I've done that for the last three years. I eat eggs every single day, all of it, and not egg whites. I'm talking about the whole leg. I've eaten that for years. Sometimes I eat 12 eggs in one sitting. You've been following me. You know what my diet's like. And I feel the best I've ever felt. By the way, if you're sitting there thinking, hang on, this old African guy with a gray beard is actually making some sense. If only I could ask him questions every week and get him to sort me out. Well, I've already built that for you. It's called Abu Crew, my private community. And at the time I'm recording this, we got over 10,000 members from all over the world inside. Some of them joined just to hear me shout at them in Zoom calls and apparently they like it. Everyone in there is using this same hormone first approach to lose fat feel better and actually feel like themselves again. No calorie counting, no gym membership required and no special low fat cereal bars or whatever these idiots sell. Inside you'll get the full 90 day roadmap, my insulin friendly grocery guide, meal plans tailored to you, recipe videos from my daughter and my wife who by the way are Michelin level compared to me boiling eggs and a weekly live Q&A call with me where I answer real questions and don't hold back. It's a one time fee, no upsells, no fluff, just the straight up truth, support and plan you've been looking for. I built this because I'm in my 60s now and I've had enough of the industry selling people confusion why they make billions. So if you're ready to take the next step just scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description. What I'm trying to say is this, our medical professionals have been trained wrong. I'm a qualified nurse and I know that I didn't learn one single thing about nutrition. When I was in the ward you know patients came in we'd give them cornflakes for breakfast with sugar on it, we'd give them tea with sugar in it, everything, biscuits, um, um, as snacks all the time and the patients were always all ill. You know now when you think about it imagine if the NHS stopped doing all that, started feeding their you know, patients proper food. But unfortunately, that's not what the playbook is like. Right now, you know, if you go to your doctor and you've got high cholesterol and the doctor doesn't give you statins and then something happens to you, they get into trouble because they ask them, you know, why didn't you give them the, you know, the statins? So that's why they are forced to do that. It's not the doctor's fault, it's the, that's the rules that they've got now. So when it comes to cholesterol, I'm telling you that you start. You need to start rethinking and and learning a lot of the nonsense that we've all been taught about cholesterol. Because remember what I said at the beginning, cholesterol is a very precious substance to your body. You know, your liver makes a lot of the cholesterol that's in your body. If it wasn't that, you know, w w the body is so clever. Why would the body make some make something that it doesn't need? That's nonsense. You know, it's something that it makes cholesterol. It's used as part of your healing, like I said, your hormones need cholesterol, you know, all you eat. Think about low testosterone. Eat lots of eggs, eat lots of red meat. You find that you can boost your testosterone back up. What is the culprit for ill health? It's all the ultra processed and high carbohydrate stuff. We go in our shops, we need everything that you see. Sometimes you buy, remember when I was younger, I'd buy, you know, margarine and, you know, flora and say, um, lowers your cholesterol. It's all nonsense. All marketing nonsense. So if you want good health, just stop eating anything that's got marketing term on it. Go straight for the eggs. Go straight for the red meat. Make sure that there's fat. The fat is with it. When you eat animal protein with the fat uh, with it, it, actually you absorb the protein better. And then when you fish, make sure you eat the skin. Eat fatty fish. You know when you eat the chicken, eat the skin, poultry. Just make sure that you eat a saturated fat because our bodies need the saturated fat. Obviously, when you do that, it means you've got to take the carbohydrates out of your diet. You know, the body can function better on fatty, on, on fat than it does um, function on carbohydrates. And we've been proven time and time again. There's so many people talking about this now. So if you haven't um, heard anybody talking about, you know, cholesterol is actually good for you, please just look around. There's so much information. If you come to my social media, I've got so many 
testimonies from people from all over the world saying, Eddie, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. In fact, sometimes they say my cholesterol levels come down. Doctors say I'm okay. The cholesterol nonsense has killed more people than even the blinking pandemic, I believe. But unfortunately, that's the norm. Everywhere you go, some of the older doctors are talking about this, you know, the cholesterol is bad for you, you've got to stop eating raw eggs. I've got family members who went to the doctor and they've had, you know, they were eating well, they're feeling really good. The doctor says, oh, no, I'm going to cut out the eggs. They cut down the eggs. They cut down the red meat. And next minute, they start getting the colds and all of that again, like they were. The immune system is weakened. Listen, if you want good health, start eating properly. And when I say properly, I mean eat saturated fat, eat fatty meat, eat lots of eggs. That's what we're supposed to eat as human beings. Personally, my diet's carnivore, but you can do the keto diet where you add some vegetables to it and you'll still be healthy. Guys, your health is your responsibility. Your doctor is there to prescribe medication once you develop the symptoms from your bad choices of food. So wake up. If you've reached the end of this video, it means you're serious about your health and fitness. If you didn't know, I've got a private community where I do live coaching, in-depth video modules, and other resources. Click the link in the description to check it out and join thousands of others who have benefited. See you there.